I've just been speaking to people on the Maidan, where the permanent protest camp is uh, still in place, and people there are just extremely exasperated uh, with their government. They don't understand why the Kiev authorities, who keep announcing these uh, large-scale anti-terrorist operations to stop the separatists, haven't been able to do more. And uh, I've been speaking to people who said that they are getting together brigades themselves. They've said they're absolutely not fascists, they're not far-right, they're not the right sector bogeymen that uh, Russian propaganda is talking about, but they are planning to try to go there and take matters into their own hands. Now, the acting president has admitted that his forces are helpless to quell the unrest. So, as you were just mentioning, the, the government, the interim leaders, giving many statements, but uh, we're not seeing much action from them. No, but apart from Alexander Turchinov's usual uh, bellicose uh, talk today about the army being in full combat readiness, he did, as we just heard, I think, admit that uh, Kiev is no longer able to uh, bring the situation in uh, Luhansk and Donetsk regions under control quickly. Those are two uh, large regions of eastern Ukraine, and Alexander Turchinov was saying that the country now needed to focus its attention on uh, making sure the separatist movement didn't spread, particularly to Kharkiv and Odessa regions. So that really is an admission of defeat of a kind today there from the interim president.